Historical racing operations at Red Mile are temporarily shut down. That step comes after the Kentucky Supreme Court declined to rehear the case after ruling that many of the machines are illegal. Tonight, Grayson Passmore has reaction to the decision. Closing down the historical horse racing machines here at the Red Mile may be new, but the Family Foundation of Kentucky says it's something they've wanted to see happen for years. The racetracks went and brought the case to the court asking, are these machines legal? But they did not wait for the court to answer. They went ahead and built buildings, installed the machines, and began raking in money. But a unanimous ruling by the Kentucky Supreme Court back in September found that some machines used at Red Mile, Kentucky Downs, and Ellis Park are illegal, putting a $2 billion gaming industry in jeopardy. Red Mile and Keeneland representatives declined an interview, but in a statement said they're disappointed the court won't reconsider. And they're shutting down the HHR operations until there's, quote, more clarity surrounding the situation. In August, Governor Andy Bashir said the state needs historical horse racing. It has allowed us to be competitive with some other forms, uh, uh, with, with some uh, other states that are taking, still taking, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of Kentucky's entertainment dollars and, and spending them on, on their roads or health care for their citizens. Uh, it provides a significant amount of funding for the state. It, it has helped uh, shore up a, a horse industry. Uh, that, that uh, was facing challenging times before it. In their statement, Red Mile and Keeneland said, we have confidence the Kentucky legislature will continue its efforts to protect jobs and state revenue generated by historical horse racing, as well as protecting Kentucky's signature horse racing industry. In the meantime, these races won't be running. In Lexington, Grayson Passmore for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. According to the Courier Journal, Senate Majority Floor Leader Damon Thayer, a Republican, has also said he's working to find, quote, a path forward for the facilities.